everyone, it's Ashley. Okay, so today I'm going to be doing a Ulta haul. It's not like a huge haul, but it's not like a three-thing haul either. So, yeah, I'm going to be doing an Ulta haul for you guys because I feel like I haven't done one in a while. And I do get requests for hauls, so I'm going to do one for you guys. I'm going to have the prices in the description bar if I remember. If not, then just tell me and then I'll remember. And also, I'm going to have it in one of these corners of the video. So the people who do want to see the prices can, but it's not going to be, like, announced. So people don't really, like, you know, think you're bragging because I'm not trying to at all. I'm just trying to help people out who likes the products. So, yeah, um, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing is pretty boring. It's just some Ulta premium round cotton pads quilted for added strength. So basically, I just use these to take off my eye makeup. So, yeah, I have that. The next thing is a hairspray that I use, and this is the Big Sexy Hair Spray and Play, and it's just a huge bottle. And this is really big, and it lasts a long time, but I ran out of my other one, so, you know, that's why my hair is, like, really slack, because I didn't want to use the products, like before the video so basically it just looks like that you know normal stuff the next thing is a eco tools bamboo powder brush soft cruelty free bristles um natural and recycled materials and reusable storage pouch i wouldn't use the restorable pouch or whatever but um i've heard a lot of good reviews about these brushes i do have some of the brushes from them but um it just came in a set so i wanted to get this one specifically Something that is kind of exciting is the Volume Express The Rocket Mascara in very black. I haven't been able to get my hands on it until now, so yeah, I'm excited to try this when I'm finished using my mascara that I am using now. This one's kind of boring. Um, Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Erase Treatment Makeup, and I got the age rewind one because everyone says that this one's like a little bit lighter coverage than most foundations and my skin's been clearing up so I don't want to use like something like too heavy so yeah I decided to try this out. Next I just have a backup powder because mine's running low and this is my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. I use this all the time and this is my going to be my third one and this is in transparent. I feel like everyone has this nail polish except for me, so I decided to get it. And this is OPI's Lincoln Park After Dark. And it's just like a really pretty color. Hold on. And you can see that it looks pretty dark. It's like a black. It does come off a little bit lighter on your nails. So yeah, I love this. The next thing is a NYC Rouge Cream Blush. And this is in natural. So I want to open this. So it looks like that. It's like a natural color, just like the name. Ooh, that's pretty. That's what it looks like unblended, and then, you know, you can blend it in. Ooh, I like this a lot. This is a nice texture and stuff like that. So, yeah, I'm excited to use this. Something that I'm excited to try is the Urban Decay um, Sin Eyeshadow Primer because my one in Eden, I don't know, it kind of got messed up. Like, I don't know if it was, like, where I was storing it or something like that. But it, like, started to get really oily towards the end of it, and it just, like, got really watery, and I couldn't use it anymore, and now it's, like, running out. So... Um, I decided to try the Sin one because it's one of my favorite eyeshadows from Urban Decay other than Verve. So, yeah, I'm excited to try this out and see how I like it. Next, I have an NYC, uh, Extreme Lip Cream. It's not a lipstick, it's not a gloss, it's nothing like you've ever experienced before. It's liquid lipstick that goes on full extreme color and intense shine. And this is in Bonfire because I saw, um, I saw Lauren's Boutique. And she had this in one of her, like, outfit of the weeks, or no, outfit of the day, or something like that. And it just looked like such a pretty color, so I had to get it. And it's, like, kind of dark, but as you can tell, I'm kind of into dark lipsticks. Not, like, too dark, but, yeah, I think this will be very pretty. That's, like, a swatch, and then you blend it in. Ooh, I definitely like this. This is going to be really hard to get off my hand, but... Yeah, it just looks like that. Very, very pretty color, and I'm definitely going to be wearing this a lot. And lastly is the Pink Sugar Perfume, and this is the 3.4 fluid ounce. And, yeah, um, basically, this smells like candy, and I have the hair perfume of it, but I do not have the actual perfume of it, because I never wanted to buy it for myself because it was expensive. And this is by Aqualina, I think. I don't know. Exactly. So the packaging is really cute. It's like a candy print, just like the name, which is Pink Sugar. And how do I open this? Off the top. Okay. 
So this bottle is literally so cute. Oh my god. How am I getting this out? There. So this is what the bottle looks like. It's clear and it just says pink sugar on it. And then it's got like these cute lines and look at that. It's like an optical illusion. But, oh my god, it smells literally perfect. So, yeah, I'm so excited that I finally have this. Yay! So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my little, pretty little haul. It's not like a big haul for multiple stores. But, yeah, that's all I wanted. And I'm kind of trying to cut down on makeup and trying to use what I have. So, that was just some little stuff that I really wanted. But, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. And thanks for watching. And I love you all. And have a wonderful day. Peace.